course, that fight is going down at the MGM Grand. In fact, every Floyd Mayweather fight has happened there since 2007. You can see it live on pay-per-view. One of the co-promoters, Golden Boy Promotion. Standing by with our Jessica Rosales, the founder and president, Oscar De La Hoya himself. Hello, Jess. Okay, you guys, we've got mayhem coming up this Saturday. Oscar, what can everybody expect from the second time around from those guys? I think um, people can expect more action from Maidana, from Mayweather. You know, the question is going to be whether Mayweather has the legs to uh, to sustain himself r running around or boxing for the whole 12 rounds. Maidana's gonna come in and charge him right from the first battle. So uh, it's gonna be interesting because Mayweather's 37 years old or 38, Maidana's 30 years old. So he has the youth behind him. He has the willpower, the strength. I can't wait to see it. It'll be fun to see in another one that's gonna be fun. Tonight, we're giving some love to the heavyweights. We got Luis Ortiz and Latif Coyote out there. What does the winner have to do to secure that victory tonight? Because it's gonna be another exciting fight. It's gonna be really exciting. I was uh, very surprised uh, Cuello here knocked out Juan Malopez, who was a big, big puncher, but it ended in such a devastating fashion. I can see the heavyweight fight, the main event with Coyote and uh, and Luis Ortiz ending in that type of fashion in a knockout uh, win. I don't know who's going to win, but uh, I believe we're going to see a knockout. It'll be interesting to see how that unfolds tonight. And I got to ask you, September 13th, Oscar De La Hoya Day here in Nevada. And as a kid, you dream of becoming a professional boxer. You dream of becoming a world champion. Did you ever imagine that, one, you would be inducted into the Hall of Fame and then offered your own day in the same year? Well, you know, it's it's such a humbling experience. Um, I'm, I'm so fortunate that I was able to, uh, to fight my very first fights here a long time ago, 20 years ago, here in Las Vegas. Now as a promoter, bringing the big events here in Las Vegas. So it's, it's a humbling experience. Um, but Las Vegas is like my second home, so I... I I, I thank the, uh, the Nevada and the officials and everyone who made this possible. Uh, one o'clock tomorrow, right in front of the, Nev the Viva Las Vegas or Welcome to Las Vegas sign, we'll be holding the press conference there. So it's, it's going to be one of those moments where I have to pinch myself and tell myself, wow, is this real? Such an iconic spot as well. Well, definitely September 13th, we've got Mayhem. We've also got Oscar De La Hoya Day. Exciting day, but the excitement continues tonight with this main event. Guys, we'll send it back to you. All right, Jessica, thank you very much. Boy, it is good to be Oscar De La Hoya these days, huh? Hall of Fame induction. Man, you get your own day? We're in Vegas, fight capital of the world. Big fight weekend, pay-per-view fight coming up this weekend, and we got the main event coming up right now. 12 rounds, heavyweights, undefeated. Luis Ortiz taking on Latif Coyote. All right, let's get right to the tail of the tape. Luis Ortiz, a little older, 35 years of age, but you know, heavyweights peak a little bit later. Ortiz still on the rise, as is Coyote, even at 31. These guys, for normal weight classes, might seem a little bit past the prospect stage, but right now, they're ready to go on uh, for prospect to contender. And the rules governing this fight. They're the unified rules. Ten-point must system. No standing eight count. No three knockdown rule. You cannot be saved by the bell. And only the ref can stop the fight. In case of an accidental foul. Headbutt scorecards after the fourth round. Luis Ortiz is undefeated. He's got 18 knockouts. The last time we saw him in the ring, he was getting rid of Monty Barron in April. Man, Monty, at one time, a, a very good top heavyweight contender. Got his nose broke here in the fight. Ortiz, as you saw in the stat, has an 84-inch reach, a much bigger reach than does Coyote. But a lot, you'll see Ortiz get very aggressive. A lot of times, maybe not even fight behind that reach. He looks to get aggressive and look for the KO. So we'll see how he plays out tonight because Coyote also undefeated with a big knockout punch. So it'll be interesting to see how these guys approach each other. And there he is. They call him King Kong because of his size and the knockout power. Both men are in the ring. Let's get the official introduction. Here's Ray Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, 13 years ago today, 
close to 3,000 people lost their lives in horrific attacks on the United States of America. It is a moment we will never forget. At this time, if we can all please rise and bow our heads in the memory of all of those who lost their lives on September 11th, 2001. May they rest in peace. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino here in Las Vegas, Nevada, it is time for our featured bout of the evening. 12 rounds scheduled for the vacant WBA Interim Heavyweight Championship of the World. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live on Fox Sports 1 and Fox Deportes. Tonight's event is being brought to you by Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions, Mayweather Promotions, in association with King Kong Boxing and Craig Cohen Promotions. Sponsored by Corona Extra, La Cerveza Mas Fina, O'Reilly Auto Parts, better prices, better parts every day, and the Mexico Tourism Board, live it to believe it. Your three judges scoring this contest are Tim Cheatham, Robert Hoyle, and Jerry Roth. The referee in charge when the bell sounds is Hall of Famer Robert Byrd. Introducing to you first, fighting to my right out of the red corner. He comes in wearing green with white trim. His official weight, 221 pounds. He comes in undefeated, 20 wins, including 16 of those coming by way of knockout. Joining us from Los Angeles, California, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lord Teeth Power Coyotes! And his adversary fighting to my left out of the blue corner. He comes in wearing white, trimmed with black. His official weight, 233 pounds. His record also unblemished, 21 wins. 18 of those coming my way of knockout. But in, out of Miami, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Luis, the real King Kong, Ortiz. And your referee here to give instructions, Hall of Famer Robert Byrd. Let's go, Ortiz. Okay, gentlemen, you had your instructions in the dressing room. Receive your own instructions in the Alvesa door. Remember, when I say stop, what that means is stop whatever you're doing and give me a clean break. Habla pare, pare, no tire golpes, fuera limpio, okay? Now, this is your fight. Don't make me a part of it. Gentlemen, let's do this. It's time for the main event, Luis Ortiz. You see them, you see him there. Call him the real King Kong. The Chief Coyote. He says, I may have a small body, but I certainly have a big engine. Both men promising a war and a knockout. This is round one, Coyote in the green trunks, Ortiz in the white trunks. Both guys really pretty much got under each other's skin. Both guys promised us an aggressive mentality in the fighting meetings yesterday. And both guys with heavy hands according to their record. So possible explosiveness in this fight. We'll see how they start out. Here's a left hook there by Ortiz. Sharp counter as Latif Coyote reached a little bit with that right hand. And again, another right that drops Coyote. And he caught him reaching again. But Coyote made the same mistake twice. And he says it was a slip, but he paid twice for reaching with that right hand. Let's see if he's learned his lesson. Because he reached with that right hand twice. Well, in a matter of about 10, 15 seconds, it paid both times. You, you pointed it out because in our fighter meetings, Ortiz said he didn't see this fight going past the round. He said that's how confident he was. He's got Coyote thinking a little bit. He's definitely taking an advantage over there, at least mentally. So Coyote trying to get back and reset and regroup a little bit. Good 
come to the halfway point here. This is our main event. 14 stalking very calmly so far, you know? Not really getting ahead of himself despite scoring the knock knockdown. He's looking to earn that real estate little by little as Coyote. It's a little antsy as he's throwing those power shots, but really not setting his distance properly. Ortiz is originally from Cuba. They really dedicated himself to the sport. Basically, two years ago when his entire family came over, his wife, his children from Cuba. He changed his life, and he's now dedicated to boxing 24-7. So far, so good. Throughout his professional boxing career, so far, so good. in the first round against the team Coyote. This is with that left hand. Ortiz reached the with that left hand. The Coyote didn't take advantage of when Ortiz reached as much as Ortiz took advantage of Coyote when he reached. That's important, important little factors here in round one. There's a left to the body by Ortiz. Another big left. Yeah. That hurt Coyote again. He's got him in a low. He's in trouble. Ten seconds left here. And that's it. Robert Burns going to stop the fight. You got to hold. Listen, I understand Coyote being mad. trying to say, hey, I was punching back. You know what? He did start punching back, but he was clearly hurt. You got to hold. You can't put the referee in that kind of position. You got to be smarter than that. Robert Bird tell him, told him, don't make me a part of this fight. No, I understand Coyote's frustration. I really do. You know, as a fighter, you want to continue. You know, but you never want to be stopped, especially in the first round when you have so much to give. But at the same time, you can't leave the referee in that position where you just stay frozen. You clearly were hurt a second ago. You got wobbled, and you just don't move your hand. You just don't move your head. And, you know, what is the referee going to do? You, you're just getting teed off on. You're not holding. You're not moving off the ropes. What, what, is the, what, what choice do you leave the referee? Now, Luis Ortiz just looked at us and motioned the signs. I told you it wouldn't go around. He did. He but did. you see, Coyote, let me be devil's advocate here. There was only a few seconds left in this run. Why not just let it go to the bell and give him? You can't let it go to the bell. I mean, it's, I mean, as a fight, the fighter in me is saying, man, you, you gotta let, let it go, go to the, to the bell. bell. Here we he, go. This is the first. He's knockdown probably gonna go down anyway. This is the first knockdown. A nice, the sharp right hook after the counter left hand missed was set up because Coyote reached with a, with his straight right hand. And let's see if we see it again. He reaches with the left right hand. He misses, and the sharp counter by Ortiz he has his distance set real nice. And, and and sharply counters him and drops him. Here's the end of the fight. And here, he gets clipped with a wide left hand. He's hurt now. And he's hurt. Instead of trying to hold, he just kind of resigns himself to laying on the ropes. And I understand here. I understand he's not clearly out. It's round one. But, you know, you got to do something. Yeah, now he throws back once the referee gives him a chance. But you got to hold, maybe take a knee. You got to understand as a fighter, you got to understand that the referee is in certain positions himself. So you don't make him make a certain decision. If you're against the ropes, defenseless, you gotta you gotta know that the referee might stop it. Get out, get yourself out of that position. Hold, take a knee, do something because the referee's not in your mind. He doesn't know how okay you are, or how hurt you are. As a fighter, you have to understand the position you're putting the referee in. You know, as a fighter myself, if I'm against the ropes and I and I'm laying against the ropes, if I'm not moving, you know, I, I'll understand if the referee stops it. You know, so you if you're okay. Do something about it. But you know people are going to see at the very end of a Coyote throwing the The only reason he threw, though, is because the referee stopped so Ortiz from teeing off. Okay. So that shows you he's okay. Yeah. And that makes it a shame that he got stopped. But because he's okay, that means he could have probably held. He could have probably took a knee. He could have probably done something. The fact that he's throwing as soon as the referee stops, it shows you, hey, man, he's kind of cognizant. But if he was that cognizant, he should have been He should have been thinking a little bit smarter. And that's the frustration if you're Latif Coyote right now, because he's okay. Wow. Whoa. What a main event. When we come back, the official time of this stoppage. You're watching Golden Boy Live here on Fox Sports 1. Mixed martial arts. All right, fellas, thank you very much. Of course, we are at the joint. 
Here in the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, our main event, you saw there Latif Coyote getting stopped here in the first round. He is still hot over what happened. We take a look here at the final seconds of this first round. And again, no, we'll let the viewers judge for themselves. And again, it's going to be a difference of opinion. I don't doubt Latif Coyote's okay. As a matter of fact, it proves it right here, where as soon as Robert Bird get wrestles Ortiz off of him, Latif Coyote comes back swinging, so he's okay. But again, you don't, you don't want to put him in that position. Why did Robert Bird stop this fight? Well, our Jessica Rosales spoke with him. Here's Jessica. Yeah, guys, he was gave a really quick response that a lot of punches were being landed by Ortiz and a lot of powerful punches. And actually, Coyote's corner went over to ask him what happened. And all he said to them was, you should have been in the corner seeing your man taking those punches. All right, Jess, thank you very much. Well, let's get the official time of this stoppage. Here's Ray Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 2 minutes 55 seconds of the first round. A referee in charge, Robert Bird, has waved off this contest for your winner by technical knockout. And now the WBA interim heavyweight champion of the world, Luis the Real King Kong. There's Luis Ortiz. He says he would love nothing more now than to fight Deontay Wilder. Wilder, of course, got that scheduled fight with Berman Stavern. That's going to be a heck of a fight if those two can get together, huh? I mean, those Stavern and Wilder, big punchers. Ortiz, a big puncher. It's exciting. It's exciting times coming up in the heavyweight division. Yeah, you see Ortiz as he victorious tonight with his doctor or daughter. Well, for Jessica Rosales and Paulie Malinaji, I'm Brian Custer. From our studios in Los Angeles, it's Fox Sports Live rolls on with Jay and Dan.